Hello guys and gals, this is John666134 here doing a review on the Halo 4 Promethean Knight. Now, I'm just going to jump into this saying this is an amazing figure, and I, if I had the money, I'd buy another one, to tell you the truth. Uh, before I actually get into the figure itself, I'm going to go to the box. And the box is enormous. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I've got her. I've been sick all weekend. Uh, it says, the warning, choking hazard, and then it's got the Promethean Knight, Halo 4, the Knight, and then, see if I can focus back here, Series 1. On the side it shows all of the moving parts, and the glowing saber sword thing, which confuses me, because that's not glowing, but... I know you can't make plastic do that, but why can't you do miracles? No, I'm kidding. This guy is actually really amazing, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it for the world. It also shows where the uh, the Watcher goes in his back, and then the Halo Four, forty movable points, point part, ta pa ta ta, forty moving parts on this figure, which. I know it sounds, eh, but if you guys know the Halo line, then guys like this, they've got 26. Which is miraculous, considering this guy's enormous and has so many moving parts. This, in the back, it shows the figure, all the moving parts, the watcher, and series 1 and 2, and then micro ops, which nothing different from all the other boxes, if you've seen any of them. Oh, wait, yeah, let you get this part down. There you go. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause right here. And I've got to get on with the video. Because I can't sit there for ten minutes while you guys read it. On to the figure itself. I've measured this guy, and he is seven and a half inches tall, which I believe regular Spartans, like Chief or Soldier, are five inches, I believe. Seems kind of accurate. But, the, this is uh, a yeah, little size comparison there. It's with the knight looking down, so his head just barely meets his, the top of the soldier's head. And it's right there. And, uh, I'm just going to get the uh, comparing out of the way. Here's the, uh, the dark, dark brain fart. Uh, the, 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 the Zealot, Zealot, why couldn't I think of that? <coughs> the, uh, Elite Zealot, sorry guys. Um, and, uh, just to, uh, be completely random. Just to be completely random, comparing him to a dinosaur. Rawr. I don't know. I'm bored. But, uh, yeah, figure... Yes, let's get to the figure. Three minutes into the video. The figure has an outstanding paint job. Let me focus on the face. The face, no, however, I don't really care much for. Because, I mean, yeah, they did a lot of detail on the face. But, I kind of wish there was two more joints right here. Where you could open it up and see the face inside. But... I don't really, it's not something I wouldn't buy the figure over. I mean, I'm not that picky. Uh, here's the back piece. Uh, some of the uh, orange and yellow coloring. No, these arms freak me out. The arms themselves actually have full articulation. They've got shoulder, elbow, and wrist articulation. Which is strange because these, well, I mean, I'm happy about it because... That's not really something that was really needed to put into the figure, but it's an added detail, so... I'm happy about it, and they, they're really freaky looking. I don't know. But the uh, blade is brightly colored orange, and... I don't really know if there could be any comparison to anything else. So, really, not that bad. I like it. Uh, the scatter shot, which is very nicely detailed. I do have one problem about it, though. It's bent. I don't know if that's just mine, or if they were all 
bent like this, but oh well. Other than that, he uh, he does come with two stands because if I actually uh, tried to play with it for about 10 minutes before I actually put the stands on there and I could not get it in one single pose to where I could actually get it standing on its own. So, these stands come in outstandingly great help, I guess you'd say. And the uh, dots on the back, down the legs, very nice detail in the paint. No, 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 oh, hang on, hang on, guys. Having difficulties. Technical difficulties. Yeah, see, I've been playing with this guy a lot, so his legs are kind of loose. Oh, and also, I had a little funny part about this guy. I've started to notice if I've got this guy standing there for more than an hour or so, he starts to droop forward, like, fall forward and then eventually fall on his face. Which I thought was hilarious, because he's just like, I'm tired of standing, I'm going to lay down now. But I'm going to show you the, uh, the back pieces. Let me lay down the uh, camera and get these pieces up. Give me a second. Get him posed. Normal. Stand. And there he is with his back pieces open. Now, I don't have a watcher, so I don't have a watcher to put in his back. So... Because I didn't realize that this was going to be an option to put the watcher in the back when this figure came out. So I never... Sorry about that, I didn't realize my finger was on the camera. But I never realized that they were going to put in that feature. So I didn't pick up one because I've seen so many bad reviews on the watcher. So I never even thought to pick one up. And uh, so I'm kind of having, I guess you'd say, unbuyer's remorse. Because I didn't buy it. But... You know, it happens. And, uh, here's a little comparison of the, uh, crawler. Quite puny compared to him. But, I mean, it's normal. Now, the thing I want is I want them to come out with different variations. Like, there were also different types, like the, uh, wagon something. There was different types of crawlers and different types of water, uh, uh, knights. They're different kind of knights, so I, w I can't wait, or if they don't make one, I wish. That, uh, sorry. I hope they make different variations of these guys. But, other than that, he, uh, I guess I'll have to do with what I we got. But, I think that'll have to do with my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have, on a radio, I know I keep forgetting to do some segments, and I apologize. I picked this guy up at eBay for about $25, $26, including uh, shipping, but fairly nice price considering I've seen so many people go for like $35 to $40, bucks, so I got about $20 off, and I'm happy. But uh, on a scale of 1 to 5, I give this guy a 5 out of 5. I'm, I love this guy. Now... Other than some prosthetic issues with the gun and not really being able to stand on his own without assistance, eh. I mean, it didn't really throw it off because I know it's... You you can't hit two birds with one stone in this situation. So, I mean, I'm not really going to argue with it. So I'm just going to accept it and be happy with it. So, 5 out of 5. You guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe for more. Um... I will have a video, or more videos out, I've decided, I know I realized I haven't had a lot of videos lately, and I realized I gotta do more than that to, uh, keep you guys happy and understand more of what's going on. So, I'm gonna expand what I'm doing, and I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna do Halo reviews, but I'm also gonna throw in other figure reviews, such as WWE and Predator and stuff like that. So... Uh, let me guys, let me guys, let me know if you guys enjoy that idea, and if you want to see more, let me know, subscribe, and like. And, uh, thank you guys for watching, and bye bye